Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I've got some extras to do, so I'm going to go back to 7-mini-g here. Yeah, you can actually save on those squares, but that's not exactly where I'm going here. Where I'm going is... well, I should say where I'm starting is stage 9 here. More specifically... 9-7, the Royal Treasure Room. The reason why is because apparently Conk is in here, but there is one spot that I kept forgetting to check, and that is apparently up waterfalls. So I'm going to take a run through the stage and see if I can find the little dickens <laughs> somewhere. Ah, no, Xbox, please don't fail me. By the way, um... I looked up reviews on the Xbox D-pad, and that's apparently something that does, I mean, that other people have problems with. So it's not just me. Oh, this looks like it could be the spot that I could go up waterfalls. Because it's, oh, 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 I've never seen this before. Can I go like, wait, is that actually something you can fall down? Looks like there is. Um, anyway, I've never been up here before, so. I thought it would be pretty fun to do this blind, uh, because I've never done this before, so yeah. <laughs> Just thought it would be a little bit different compared to the rest of the walkthrough here. Hey, Conk, how's it going? Conk, you will all remember my name, Conk. I shall know Conk Mercy, so Conk, prepare yourself. Conk, oh wait, it's kind of addicting. Alright, let's see what he's got here. Do you have any other attacks? in this particular battle than you did in other versions? Something tells me no. I mean, you, you're just as slow as the first encounter. You've got the jump attack. I'm defeating you rather easily without taking any hits so far. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see if he's got anything more here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? And how do you dodge it? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Let's try this again. Okay, let's see if I go- oh, okay, you can do like- you can move the net. I'm gonna keep trying that to see how to dodge that attack just for you here. Okay, so you can go like- I don't know how to dodge that. That's interesting. I don't mind taking hits here just for the sake of dodging, you know, trying to learn- Oh, okay, you dodge- you push out the middle, he only goes up the center. Oh, okay, so you go like this. And then you go, oops, then you go off to the left and push out. I'm gonna do it one more time just to show you here. Well, off to the left or the right, I'm sure the right will work just as well. Ah! Poopers. Well, I think you got it because you've seen me do it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to do it one more time. Hopefully. Yeah, that works. That works great. Alright, so that's how you dodge that, and that's his new attack in this particular form of Conk battle. Conk! Up there! It's contagious! It's contagious. Duh. <laughs> uh, anyway, that appears to be it because that is where Conk is hidden in the royal treasure room. Yeah, I never was up here before, so that was pretty cool. Thanks for showing me that. Now there is more stuff to show, so I am heading back over to another stage. Seven five to be more specific. Secret one. Go. The reason why I'm back in this stage is because I was told you can actually kill Sand Snarks by doing the shooting star move like that. Yeah, can you believe that? I didn't know that, because they're always underwater, you know, and you can't do the shooting star move underwater. But when I was told that, my mind was just blown! <laughs> so thanks for telling me that. Now that that is taken care of, we can go back into the case and go to the shop because I bought everything except for this last thing by grinding for pearls off camera. So let's buy this, the umbrella, and clean out his shop. What do you say here? Uh, I'm all cleaned out. The shelves are bare. Got Guess I gotta go close up shop and retire somewhere. Guess I gotta close up shop and retire somewhere warm. Man, you talk really quickly. Faster than I can talk. <laughs> So anyway, now I've got all the stuff there, and uh, if you need to grind for pearls, I'll show you the of what I found is the fastest way to do this uh, one more time. Go to stage 8-4, and here you go. Press X to go into the minigame door, just to give, you, give yourself a little bit of a shortcut here. And then go back through here. 
This is really quick, don't worry. Really, really quick. Jump down here. Pass where the treasure chest was. Go in this door. And this is a spot right here. Just keep chaining these enemies over and over and over and over again. And each, each passing, you'll get five pearls because you'll be able to keep... Um, powering through them before your combo drops. Look at that! Now, it, this may be mind-numbing to you, and it is kind of mind-numbing because it's just really, really repetitive. So if you'd like to get pearls some other way, just play through the stages that have the most pearls, I guess. Or just play through stages in general until you get the pearls you need. But uh, this is, if you want to do it, the fastest way that I could find to get pearls, even faster than the Royal Treasure Room. Because in the Royal Treasure Room, you ha you keep having to leave the stage, you keep having to uh, go through cutscenes and stuff like that. So I think this is just a bit more time effective than the Royal Treasure Room, you know, 9-7. Anyway, now that you understand that... Um, remember I said that this cutscene was not open yet at the story here? Look at that, I opened it! Now how did I do that? Well, I was correct about the requirements on how to unlock movie number four here. Uh, you have to get all the chests, you have to play all the minigames, and you have to beat Mash Tooth. But what I didn't know offhand was that you have to beat Mash Tooth a second time, because this cutscene shows after the credits, once you get everything, like once you get all the chests and once you beat all the minigames. Or actually, once you play all the minigames and then you beat Mash Tooth again, then ending uh, cutscene shows and the credits, then this plays right here. So, are you ready to watch it? Get your popcorn? Got it? No. Well, pause the video if you don't have it. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna start right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> Missing chapter. Let's view it. The missing chapter. How Bunsen ended up in Puff Top. Back on Bonera. Just before the planet was attacked by the maniacal space pirate Mashtooth. Hmm. Prince Starfy, hero of the galaxy. What's this? Prince Starfy, eh? He's all over the news again. Huh? We should try to get Prince Starfy to visit Bonera. Our princess had to grow up fast, especially after his parents passed away. It must be hard for him. And there's the ship. Prince Starfy and Prince Bunston. They're probably around the same age. I bet they'd make good friends. Okay, coordinates are set. Huh? I wonder what Prince Starfy's like. I hope he's nice. Captain! We've got an emergency! Calm down! Report! Pirates! Serious trouble, sir! We're under attack! Oh no! Uh, pirates! Yes, sir. And they don't want treasure. They seem to be after our special power. Prince! Get him to safety! He has more of the power than anyone on Bonera. We can't let him get captured. Yes, sir. So they knew he was more powerful than the others. Autopilot initiated. A destination... Kingdom of Pufftop. So he looks like he was going to end up there no matter what. Bloop. And there he goes. This is after he got knocked into the spaceship. And then shot out of the sky, of course. But you probably knew that. Because you've seen these sorts of flashbacks a few times already. And that's it. That is the missing chapter. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that other than it just explains a little bit more about uh, how, well, how Bunsen got to Puff Top and whatnot. Um, there is one thing that I haven't showed yet, and that's the Mo Show. And uh, it's <laughs> there's no gameplay to it, and it's just I mean it's it's entertaining and all, 
but there's no gameplay to it, and it's, I wouldn't really consider the scenes in this canon, because, um, it, it, it's like things are out of character for this quote-unquote talk show of, of Moe's here. So, yeah, um, I, I, I guess I'll show them all, even though it's probably going to take a while in this part. But, yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's see here. What does the notes... Oh, yeah, that was the diary notes. But, yeah, I think... Oh, no, wait, I, I still have yet to uh, show off the stuff and stuff. Maybe I'll put the Mo Show in its uh, own part, because the Mo Show isn't really uh, gameplay so much as it is um, uh, stuff that you unlock as you go uh, through levels, as you meet new characters and whatnot, and they appear on the show. So anyway, as I was uh, showing you before with these uh, specials here, in order to get these specials, you need to combine the uh, ones in here, like say the guard uniform, uh, that was in space number two with the extras, like say in space number two, the guard spear, and then you, you discover a special. And there we go, puff top guard. Oh yeah! <laughs> that just looks really silly. <laughs> But anyway, uh, to get all these specials, like this one's going to be a, uh, like this one's, oops, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go back to the uh, left one here. Like that was number four, so splatter clothes. I think you see where this is going, beret and palettes, so it's an artist thing. A special has been added. See, that was number four, and then number four is going to be added to here. Great artists. Yep, got a full scene. All right, let's do them all here. Magician's outfit. Mm, he's the Dark Magician, I guess. Magic Top Hat. Nah, eh, maybe not quite the Dark Magician. Magic Show! Make a bunny appear out of a hat. Yeah! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Doctor's Coat. I'm pretty sure you see where this one is going. Dr. Mario, here we come! Uh, hospital checkup. Whee! Oh yeah, that's what all loot doctors do. They just swing around in their roly-poly chairs. It's, it's not well known, but that's what they really do. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> anyway, conductor's uniform, conductor's hats. Special has been added. Mm, train set. Whee! Yeah, it's not just Starfy, although you can see Starfy's face on the front of that train, though, like, very vaguely. But uh, what, I, what I mean is that uh, these specials aren't all about Starfy, basically. They're, there's there's more to them than uh, just Starfy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me, um, you know, a lot of the characters in this game are naked most of the time, so this game is most certainly... Not kid friendly. I mean, come on now. Just think about that for a minute here. <laughs> I don't know if Starfy's been transformed into another thing, or someone put a Starfy mask on Mermaid, or I don't know. But something happened here. We probably shouldn't question it too much. Anyway, Viking armor. <laughs> These are sort of entertaining overall. I should say some of them are entertaining overall. Let's see what happens in the special this time. Viking Invasion! Yeah! King Boblin from Twilight Princess. Actually, I don't think so. <laughs> it's too cute to be King Boblin. Uh, wait, where am I? Uh, high class attire. Plus... Distinguished wig, I think? Yes! Yes! Ballroom Dancer! Woo! Dance Dance Revolution! Oh yeah! With four pads. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I did it again! I pressed B rather than going to the left. All I want to do is go back here, and my instinct is to press B, and ah, uh, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, spacesuit, the super expensive thing. Uh, wait, was it this? It says hello on his thing. Wait, was the space was the spacesuit the super expensive thing or oh, it was the Galactic Heroes outfit that was super expensive? Anyway, uh, spacesuit, yeah, uh, space helmets. There we go. A special has been added. 
Starfy in space. Woo! And you already seen uh, Mash Tooth the Pirate, so I can skip past uh, that one. Woo! Oh, mm, mm, I did it again. <laughs> Uh, skip mash tooth, back to school clothes. Mm, student cap. Behold the next special, which is name school days. Welcome. That doesn't really remind me of school days. I don't know. It looks more like some sort of bus stop. Well, maybe not a bus stop. It looks like some sort of uh, welcome sign to a um. A carnival or something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't remind me of anything school related. Uh, wait, wait, where am I? Kitty costume. Oh, wait, I can actually start going uh, backwards rather yeah, than starting from the top. Oh, a special has been added. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually went from the top. Playful kitty. Yep, that's it. Anyway... Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong direction again. Well, it is the right direction as I'll eventually get there, but... Uh, what I mean is to speed it up. I want to go like that. Uh, mobile phone goes with that? Uh, special has been added! I guess it's the high technology um, suit, which is why they go together. Hero of the Galaxy! Ooh! Why didn't he use this in his battle versus Mash Tooth? <laughs> well, I suppose I didn't necessarily have it, but even if you do have this, he won't use it in the battle versus Mash Tooth. Which is a shame, anyway. <laughs> Red Velvet Robe. You know, these, come to think of it, these, a lot of these things do have, like, potential to upgrade Starfy with other attacks and stuff like that, but they never really utilize that as far as I could tell. At least I don't think they did anything about that. Uh, festive scene. Ho, ho, ho. Yep, Rudolph Starfy. Ribbit wear bathrobe. Umbrella! I don't know why those two go together, but maybe it's because they match colors. Because, I mean, you've got a bathrobe and it apparently goes with an umbrella, but if you got a bathrobe, wouldn't you be around the house? And the umbrellas are for outside and. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Ribbit costume! Hmm, Starfy's head is position... Uh, forget it. Last one! Rubber ducky ring! Combined with a duck mask! And that makes... Swan Boat! Woo! This could go well with that welcome sign. Like, it's a welcome sign leading you... I should say that, um, like, go to school days here. You start out here. You're like, welcome to the swan boat ride. Step right up and pay some money. And you can end up taking a gentle, relaxing cruise down our canal. And yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know if I showed you all of these. <laughs> oh, and if you didn't realize, you can also um, like click on... Whoops. Did I... Hold on. I forgot what it is. Uh, select button switches over to Starly, yes. And also back to Starfy. Uh, but I thought there's a way to... Uh, oh yeah, free view is the Y button. Yeah, there we go. So you can do this on all of them, but I'm not going to because that's really, really lengthy. <laughs> so yeah, you can do that on your own there. And uh, I just forgot the controls in, in this uh, particular room here. Uh, yeah, Roostar. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm done messing around here. Oops. Started off from this top there for some reason. Star Fright. Boo! I am a boo. Looks like... I don't know, Starfy's got panties on his head upside down. I know that's not it, but that's the first thing that came to mind. 
Okay, that is done. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, which is going to be the final part, which I show off the Mo Show, which isn't so much a part as it is a show. 